Hi folks, today we're going to be hilling up our potatoes here. They're perhaps slightly small, but I got to do it now because we're going to be away um, in the coming days when probably would be the ideal time. So we're going to get, a, get them hilled up. Um, hilling them up will put a nice bank of soil around the plants, which will provide more space for the tubers to develop. So obviously planting them deep in a furrow helps with that, but also hilling them up will provide support for the plants and give more loose soil where those tubers can, can develop, which should promote the growth of more tubers than if you just left the plants uh, like this as is. So I've already prepared this soil, loosened it up by running the Troy-built rototiller up and down the rows. We have the Troy-built furrower attachment now with the hilling wings mounted on it. So I'm going to mount this right on the back of the rototiller and then the wings here on the side, those are going to push the soil up and onto the row or the stem of the potato plant. So we'll get this mounted, we'll run the this up and down the rows and we will have successfully hilled up our potatoes. So let's get started. So here's the result from the tiller. The soil is still rocky and pretty clumpy um, and not necessarily broken up very deep. So in some places, things hilled up beautifully, like right along here. But then as we move along this row, we'll see that there are other places where there's almost more of a gap between it where it didn't hill up quite so well, especially on that other row. So what I'll do is come back through here with a rake and just kind of knock the soil up and in. Here's another spot right here. You can see it's not quite up to the plants in there. So I'll just pull that in with a rake and then we will be finished with the hilling. As you can see behind me, the potatoes are all hilled up. Everything's looking pretty good. At this point, it's just watch out for the, the pests, particularly the Colorado potato beetle. And the other one that I've encountered the last couple years is the potato leaf hopper, which is a little more difficult because it's migratory coming up from the south. So rotating crops doesn't uh, get rid of that. And they do a lot of damage um, sucking the life out of the plants such that they die off prematurely. Um, so hopefully we don't have issues with those this year, um, but I'll keep an eye out and we'll see what happens. We'll enjoy harvest in the fall. Looking forward to that.